How to Make Your Own Charcuterie 1. Understand Charcuterie Basics Charcuterie involves preparing and presenting a variety of cured meats, cheeses, and accompaniments. Common elements include cured and smoked meats, cheeses, pickles, nuts, fruits, and bread. Charcuterie boards are perfect for entertaining and offer a visually appealing spread of flavors and textures. 2. Choose your meats. Select a range of cured and cooked meats to feature on your charcuterie board. Popular options include Prosciutto Thinly sliced, dry cured ham Salami A variety of cured sausages, such as Genoa or pepperoni Soprasata A dry cured Italian sausage Pate A spread made from ground meat and fat Ensure the meats are of high quality and have complementary flavors and textures. 3. Pick your cheeses. Include a variety of cheeses to provide a diverse taste experience. Consider including Soft cheese, such as brie or camembert. Hard cheese, like manchego or gouda. Blue cheese, such as roquefort or gorgonzola. Aged cheese, like parmigiano-reggiano. Cut cheeses into wedges, slices, or cubes to make them easy to serve and enjoy. 4. Prepare accompaniments. Select and prepare a variety of accompaniments to complement the meats and cheeses. Options include pickles, such as gherkins, olives, or pickled onions, fresh fruits, like grapes, figs, or apple slices, dried fruits, such as apricots or raisins, nuts, almonds, walnuts, or cashews. These items add flavor contrasts and enhance the overall experience. 5. Add bread and crackers. Include a selection of breads and crackers to serve with your charcuterie. Consider offering baguette slices, lightly toasted or fresh, artisan crackers, with various flavors or seeds, breadsticks, thin and crunchy options. These provide a base for spreading cheeses and enjoy with meats. 6. Arrange the charcuterie board. Choose a large serving board or platter. Arrange the meats and cheeses in a visually appealing way, creating variety in colors and textures. Place the accompaniments around the board, leaving space for guests to serve themselves. Use small bowls for pickles and spreads to keep them contained. 7. Include spreads and condiments. Enhance the charcuterie board with a selection of spreads and condiments. Consider adding Mustard Different varieties like Dijon or whole grain Honey for a touch of sweetness. Jam or chutney, to complement the cheeses and meats. Serve these in small bowls or jars for easy access. 8. Garnish and decorate. Add garnishes to make the board more attractive. Fresh herbs like rosemary or thyme can add a pop of color and a pleasant aroma. Edible flowers or a few extra slices of fruit can enhance the visual appeal. 9. Serve and enjoy. Ensure your charcuterie board is served at room temperature to allow the flavors to fully develop. Provide cheese knives, toothpicks, or small tongs for easy serving. Encourage guests to explore the different combinations of meats, cheeses, and accompaniments. 10. Store leftovers properly. If you have leftovers, store them in airtight containers in the refrigerator. Meats and cheeses should be wrapped properly to maintain freshness. Most items will stay fresh for a few days, but be sure to check for any signs of spoilage before consuming. By following these steps, you can create a delightful and impressive charcuterie board, perfect for entertaining or casual gatherings. The key is to balance flavors, textures, and presentation to provide a memorable tasting experience.